There are people out here playing soccer. Ah, yeah! <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Welcome back to the Arctic Circle. We are not in Finland. We are actually in another country. We're in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> we drove about two and a half hours and we are now in Axelviksvagen. Axelviksvagen. Sweden. <laughs> this is country number seven for us. The reason that we came to Sweden today is for a rather unique experience you can't do anywhere else. We're getting on a boat, but not just any old boat. We're in the middle of the Arctic Sea, which means it's frozen solid. <laughs> so you may be thinking, how could you get on a boat? Let's show you. It's an icebreaker ship. <laughs> so we're going on this boat. It's just called a Sampo. And basically we're going to forge our own path right through the ice. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it looks in action. Industrial is the exact word I was thinking of. <laughs> Underneath all of this, there's still like life. Like there's still a, a sea going on underneath all of it. I think they have like narwhals. Narwhals under the ice. Yeah. We have okay. been we just started going through the ocean and it is breaking straight through the ice. I mean, what do you think? Very windy, very cold, face is numb, but super cool to watch. That's incredible. We just uh, <laughs> took a quick stop because I think we're actually about to jump in the Arctic Ocean um, in the wake of the boat. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect, but cold is the theme. So. I think we're ready to go. Um, yes, I feel like it's Ellie to me. We come in peace. Ah, it's so tight. I'm so scared. Is it cold? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> My feet are popping out. I'm like a boat. This is awesome. I'm completely warm. It's not cold at all. I just feel ridiculous. This is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> the water pressure compresses the suit on your skin in all places and it feels so weird. So hard to stay upright because all the air wants to push you over. <laughs> That was 
is so much fun. Wow. We are dressed and warm again. Although it wasn't that cold. It was just like your face that was exposed and my fingers. <laughs> that was so much fun. I felt very out of control and just kind of had to embrace it. <laughs> There's so much flotation in the wetsuits. And, and they had, squeeze you. The wetsuits are 12 millimeters thick, which is crazy because the wetsuits that I use at home are only like three four, or four millimeters. So. Four is considered like a winter wetsuit in California. So that was three times <laughs> the thickness. Anyways, we're about to go and see if we can get on the ice outside of the boat. So that should be pretty crazy. We're gonna walk on the water. Jesus step. People out here playing soccer. Yeah, yeah. This Sampo boat, I believe, was actually built in the 60s and was in work for about 20 years before being turned into a tourist attraction now. I have to say, it's a very unique tourist attraction. Well worth it. A little bit pricey, but I mean, we got to jump in the water, so that was way cool. There is just nothingness <laughs> forever and ever. If you keep going that way, you'll go past the North Pole and over to, I guess, Canada? Maybe. <laughs> we're exploring a little part of the ship. I don't know if we're supposed to be in here. They said we could go anywhere. They basically said there's nowhere that's off limits, even the captain's room, so. It's really cold. Well, that was super worth it. Uh, the swimming was way weirder and funner than expected. Funner? Yeah. It was very funner. That's a word. Now we just hope this car warms up fast enough and we have a two and a half hour drive back to Finland and a lot, a lot more coming. So please subscribe if you want to see more if you enjoyed today's video, because we will be posting some fun things coming up in the next few days. I'm really excited about it. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Subscribe. <laughs>